Yo, chat, how we doing? Sorry, it took a little bit longer for me to get ready. I had to eat some breakfast. I was at the gym longer than I realized. Um, let's see here. Do I have everything? Um, uh oh, it's quite tasteless. Do I have everything set up that I need? By the way, we're sponsored by Factor. If you do an order of Factor, if you want, I will uh, cast one of your StarCraft replays. We got that deal going on. I want to see if that boosts sales here for them. Um, let me go down my checklist here. I'll just put myself on camera. How am I looking? Hello, everybody. Are there any cats under me? Lately, they've been laying by the wheels in my chair. Were those biddies checking you at the gym? Let me tell you something, man. I am the weakest man at my gym. I am by far the weakest and most unattractive person at this gym I go to. My body is like arms and legs attached to a bag of flour. All right, I'm still getting stuff set up over here. I did want to react to one... Um, YouTube video that I thought was pretty interesting. I have a couple. No, I just really have one. Okay, we're just going to do the one video today. I guess I'll have to get some more videos. I thought I had two ready. Yo, thank you for the sub, man. Is it going to play? Let's try this overlay. But no sound. That's weird. Let's try this again. There it is. Fucking go write in a journal about what you think you know about Brood War and then light it on fire because <clears throat> you don't know anything. Thank you, Simon. Appreciate you. Hey, thank you, Skill Honor Hard Work. That was a cool video. I'm going to try to find some more stuff like that. Oh, I didn't wear this shirt at the gym. They have gym uniforms at my gym. All right, are we ready to do some uh, some content, some educational content, and then we'll go right into our um, you just yo fucking flipping coins, coin flipping shit. Gym uniforms, yes, real urban miner. They have gym real uniforms. Real urban miner just subscribed. Gym <laughs> uniforms, yes. A lot of the gyms in Korea. You like go in with like I like I go in dress like this, and then I pick out shorts that are my size and a shirt that's my size. They're all the same. That way you don't have to like have gym clothes you keep there. It's pretty good for like a big urban environment. I don't have to carry a gym bag around. And then I have a locker there that's got like my deodorant and um I don't know, like soaps and razors and stuff. Do they wash them? I'm like, no, they never wash them. That's the bad part. It's just crusty, gross clothes. No, they wash them. Um, all right. I'm going to pause alerts. Oh, shit. I forgot to reset my sub goal here. I'm sorry. Um, one second, guys. Shit. I thought we were ready. Took too long eating my meal after the gym. All right. We're going to reset the sub goal. Thank you for the support. But now we're back to zero. And I'm going to pause alerts here. We're going to go um, into this video now. And then we're going to be doing the Warcraft 2 campaign. Okay. Uh, this is a video I found just the other day. Uh, I actually really enjoyed this. I thought the, it was a pretty thoughtful piece. I think they got a lot of stuff right. I wanted to add my own commentary to it, like we've done for a couple other of these uh, you know, esports or RTS or gaming videos that are out there. This channel is called Going Indie. Um, subscribe to them. Check them out. They are great. They've got a bunch of good stuff. This is called The Decline of Esports is Over. From tournaments in basements with reviewers to selling out some of the biggest stadiums. Let me know if the, the volume's world. okay, chat. 
just a few decades, esports have swept the globe. Billion dollars last year alone. Millions and millions of viewers and Stewie's won the round! We go to overtime! But recently, something happened. The hype train is gone, and now all we hear in the media is that esports is dying. I can't think of anything less interesting. That it's ruined gaming, or that it's already dead. Oh, I play <laughs> video games. Oh, you f I say dork. Like By the way, Joe Rogan, not anti-esports. He interviewed a pro gamer a couple years ago. I think that's where that clip was from. He used to play a lot of Quake back in the day. What if I told you that the media has got it all wrong? That esports isn't dying, and I can prove it with this man. My name is Victor Gosens, and I'm the uh, founder and co-CEO of Team Liquid. Now, Victor- So this is Liquid Nazgul. Um, this guy, I feel like we don't actually talk about him as much in my history videos, but he was like within the pantheon of great old school players when there was a heavy amount of foreigners, um, making the pilgrimage to Korea to compete. Uh, he was one of them, but then also as the guy, as it'll explain in a second here, um, making team liquid.net, which by the way, has probably had a bigger impact on esports than almost anything else you can imagine and Starcraft was kind enough to chat with me for this video, telling me about his story and how he got into esports and why he's still knee deep 23 years later. And it's important to understand his story because Victor has been in the scene since the very beginning. He's been through all the ups and downs and his career really began in 2000 with the creation of Team Liquid and then TeamLiquid.net, a website to track the StarCraft Pro scene in Korea. I realized that there was very little, there were very little sources uh, for coverage of Korean uh, professional StarCraft. And so I started TeamLiquid.net, which while it shares the name of the clan, it was actually really meant to cover professional uh, StarCraft and mostly the games happening in Korea. Now, Korea so he's 100% right. I remember this is like before we were in Web 2.0 with social media. It was really hard to figure out how to find StarCraft news. Um, search engines were not good. I don't even think in some cases they were... Uh, I don't even know. I don't know when Google came out, but I feel like Google was a little bit after um, uh, StarCraft itself came out. Some you guys can fact check me in the chat. I'm not totally sure, but it was hard to find um, websites with information. Also, there were a lot of websites that just had bad information. Like if you you could go to certain websites, and I can't remember the names of them specifically because you'd look at them and realize if you were good at all, they don't know what they're talking about, um, and it's basically like you know junk food for your brain or something it's, you're not going to learn real strategies or, or info on them um so it was hard to, to, to navigate the internet and um and, and find the right spots remember there was starcraft.org team liquid obviously is the biggest and the best there was another site that came later called wgtor.com which i would say in some ways rivaled team liquid in that they really had competitive ladders and uh team leagues uh and, and kind of a, a pretty intricate community system but i think what allowed Team Liquid to stand out the most was its coverage of professional Korean esports and allowing you to find all of it in one place. I remember being a kid and having people in certain chat rooms on Battle.net link me to websites that were in Korean, only my computer and nobody's computer, if you're in the U.S., automatically had Hangul, that's the Korean alphabet, loaded on there. Not that I could read Hangul anyways, but it would show up in this sort of weird alien text character stuff uh, on, on, like, I think it was Internet Explorer was what I was using back then. I remember clicking through random garbled alien text until I eventually would find a VOD. I'm like, okay, this is the VOD page. Um, and watching pro gamers that were in almost like costumes at the time and, and, and studying those. So Team Liquid was really important in that it allowed a portal into what was otherwise this almost mysterious insular world of Korean cable TV. Koreans of StarCraft esports are like Americans and apple pie. It is a cultural phenomenon that will live on forever. But the reason StarCraft became so popular was because in the late 90s, Korea was hit with a financial crisis, causing many to lose trust in the market and invest in PC bomb. Yes. Uh, I feel like I when I talk about how StarCraft got big in Korea, I neglect talking about this. But that is true. Korea hit a big financial crisis. Also, whenever there's a financial calamity, um, a lot of times people turn to video games. I think video games overall are probably the most cost-efficient way to spend your time and have fun. Uh, you know, PC cafes back then was under a dollar an hour to hang out in. 
And if you were going to play at home, I mean, you'd buy the game. I don't know what StarCraft was back then. I think games were like 45, 50 bucks, maybe, maybe a little bit less. I'm not sure. But yeah, in an economic calamity like that, games tend to perform very well. These PC cafes were incredible for the new generation. And by 1998, there were thousands of PC bongs across the country. By the way, there are still thousands of PC bongs around the country. I've seen some people talk about the decline of PC cafes in Korea. There have been many that have failed. A lot of times in Korea, when businesses take off, there will be a, a, almost an inflation on the number um, that will come out there and try to make it. But there's a lot of really nice PC cafes. If you come to Korea, you got to go to a PC cafe for an afternoon or an evening. It's a lot of fun. You can get food delivered to you, coffee. Um, you could spend your whole day in there if you want. And so that really helped in the whole gaming scene, as well as uh, the fact that all these games are on LAN. So people were able to play multiplayer games immediately. Where uh, someone like my brother or me or Artosis, we had to go to like a LAN party. We had to take our whole computer apart and bring them to somebody's house or they would have to bring them to our house. We'd connect them all. Obviously, some of my happiest memories. But I, if I could have just gone to a PC cafe, I would have done that. Are they really smoky? They used to be smoky, but you can't smoke inside of a PC cafe. Like I, when I, I used to smoke cigarettes, I used to sit and smoke cigarettes and play StarCraft or smoke cigarettes in between games. Um, that's when you could smoke almost anywhere in Korea. Now there's a designating smoking room. But no, they're not smoky. The air is very clean in them now. And practically every computer in these cafes had StarCraft. All of these factors created the perfect storm, giving rise to professional players, teams, tournaments, and not one but two dedicated TV channels for watching StarCraft. People all over the world paid attention to StarCraft in Korea, keeping up to date using Victor's website. So Victor, a passionate StarCraft player himself, left his home in the Netherlands to go compete in South Korea. I moved to Korea to be a professional gamer uh, for a while. I lived there for six months. Um, it was honestly, uh, yeah, some of the greatest time of my, my life. Played on television, participated in all sorts of tournaments. Um, but eventually, uh, sleeping on the floor, earning a couple hundred dollars per month, I felt like, okay, it's time to uh, move on and look for a different career because this cannot really last forever. Yeah, it was really hard for the early guys. Uh, he's old. I think he's older than me. He should be a couple years older than me. But... I think some people think of me as like first generation StarCraft. I was in middle school reading about all this stuff. Literally seventh grade, right at the start of seventh grade, I think, or the summer of, I can't remember the exact month the game came out. But so I, I was one of the people that was reading, learning about like Nazgul, XDS Gur, D22 So So, um, all the great Korean players, B Blade Leader. Although Victor had to move on after only six months his passion for StarCraft didn't go away. He continued to support the community with his website while he went to university and played professional poker, growing his website and community slowly year after year. A lot of StarCraft. That's one other thing. All these guys went on to poker to make money just because that was also an online game you could play. There was money there. There were a lot of, um, I guess, just degenerate gamblers in online poker, especially back then, and there were no bots yet. So you could make a killing back then players moved from StarCraft to poker. Uh, with that switch, I could sort of, um, I was in control of my own life basically. And so I always maintained uh, teamliquid.net and I always maintained Team Liquid, uh, kept putting time into it, kept working on it. And that small community side uh, became really, really big over time. Like Victor and teamliquid.net, esports was in this slow growth period during the 2000s. Although it was exploding across the ocean Korea, watching people play video games professionally wasn't really popular yet in the West. The first problem was most scenes were decentralized, lacking very little organization or structure, usually because developers didn't have any monetary incentive to support the pro scene, since games at the time were only a one-time purchase. Some companies like Major League Gaming tried to give the scene some structure, but without a centralized broadcasting platform like there was in Korea, it was really difficult to build an audience. Twitch. That is a really important point. The fact that StarCraft was put on cable TV, which at that time, cable TV equals ubiquity. So you, you're... I mean, everybody watched TV back then. Like, everybody from my generation, we all grew up on MTV. Nobody in America didn't know about or watch MTV, right? Um, and so even though now in the current state we are... Uh, in as far as media goes where 
cable TV is really kind of like a weird boomer uh, form of entertainment. It's very dated. It's kind of an odd way to consume things when I can just watch like Netflix or, or YouTube or watch something live on Twitch. It did immensely boost the presence of StarCraft everywhere in the country because it was unavoidable. Everybody had a TV. Everybody would flick through those channels, and so you'd get people exposed to that. And as things get more bifurc uh, bifurcated, um, which is not always bad, it but it, because people find their own little niches and their own communities, and you can have things that are even more obscure than StarCraft, like early day speedrunning now has its own scene community. Uh, it does make it harder to, to, to reach out to these other uh, audiences. It didn't exist yet, and YouTube was still in its infancy. The real issue with esports, however, was the culture. There wasn't an instant culture shift in most countries like there was in Korea. Yeah. The whole country was playing or watching StarCraft with players being looked at as celebrities. <laughs> Where programmers in other places were often looked down upon. YouTube launched a new video network yesterday where you can watch other people play video games. For real, let the whole network, it's called uh, the We Should All Be Very Ashamed of Ourselves for Failing as Parents channel. <laughs> Made fun of by people in the news because they couldn't fathom someone playing video games for a living. It's a game. <laughs> That's not a sport. That's not a sport. Hey. The 2000s were a testing ground for esports. Companies and players were doing everything they could to make some money playing the games they loved. And although people were passionate about esports, they constantly failed during this time to make anything stick. But this failure by companies and players alike carved a path for competitive gaming to see a new dawn in 2010, setting the stage for what would become the first legit decade of organized esports. And it all started with two games, StarCraft II and League of Legends. As I explained in my League video, Riot knew organized competition was critical for League's long-term success, which is why they invested in their competitive scene so early it's DJ on. Wheat. Nowadays, we look at League as this example to emulate. But originally, StarCraft 2 was the- To look at Day9 and JP McDaniels. Oh my God. He has an old handsome nerd shirt on on the right there. Esports poster child. So with the rise of StarCraft 2, Team Liquid was officially born. With many others following suit, teams like CLG, Cloud9, 100 Thieves, and many others. Now there were established teams, sponsors, and publisher-backed tournaments. Tournaments like StarCraft II and League of Legends World Championships. So <clears throat> I think a lot of people forget that these two games really did come out at the same time. Actually, League of Legends is slightly older than StarCraft II. Although if you talk to people, they will regard StarCraft II as an extremely old game. Uh, and League of Legends is like, it's not new, but it's uh, it's not that old. When in reality, it's, um, yeah, I mean, they're almost side by side. I think that Riot had a lot of advantages and that that was their only game. And so they had to focus everything on that. Where StarCraft had several different IPs and a lot of different ideas in the company. I mean, if you look at what World of Warcraft is, that's totally different than what StarCraft 2 Esports uh, was or is. Uh, or what, you know, Diablo um, had been or what Hearthstone would soon become. And so I think that allowed uh, Riot Games to be more nimble. Blizzard also used a lot of older models for that. Uh, I think StarCraft 2 could have had more success if it was, I think, handled a little bit differently with the multiplayer experience, but I mean, it made a lot of big strides in esports in general. Both featuring massive prize pools for the time. These tournaments would grow bigger and bigger by the year, and by 2015, we had tournaments selling out Madison Square Garden. When I walked into Madison Square Garden in 2015 for TSM versus CLG, and I looked at the crowd, 18,000 seats, totally full, Every ticket sold out in three minutes. The booming, the 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 sound, the environment. That was a. This is Devin Nash. He has a great YouTube channel that talks about business and esports and content creation. I would highly recommend it. Uh, in that he really knows what he's talking about. He's really with it. Uh, where I think many people in the space are not uh, as smart as this guy. I would highly recommend you check him out. Certain feeling, and I was like, "This is awesome." That's Devin Nash. Former CEO of did Twitch start start out as a StarCraft streaming streaming platform, or did I just invent that memory? So StarCraft Two was the biggest game. It was Justin TV, and then all of a sudden everybody was just streaming StarCraft Two on it. So that pushed Justin TV to rebrand uh, as Twitch because they realized almost everybody's just putting games on this thing. And now, now here we are. We're streaming this on Twitch. CLG and current founder of Novo. 
Okay, really awesome guy, and you can hear just how hype esports were at the time. And because all of this excitement, the media started changing their narrative. These professional video game players weren't so odd anymore. They were actually looking kind of cool. And the media weren't the only ones who took notice. Investors were paying attention to. Up until 2017, esports growth looked like this. A nice upward trend, nothing crazy from a money standpoint, but definitely some attractive growth. But when investors saw that line going up and up, they saw potential. An emerging industry ripe for the picking. So investors did what they always do. They pumped esports full of money and created a bubble. Just for context on how much money got poured into the market, this was the amount in 2017. And this was 2018. Billions and billions of dollars were just thrown around and people kept investing. Because that same year, Riot changed League of Legends esports to a franchise model following the creation of the Overwatch League. Instead of teams competing in qualifiers to win a spot in a tournament, the game developers charged a franchise fee to compete usually to the tune of millions of dollars per slot. Investors loved this because franchise slots have tangible value and they're familiar with the model. This is exactly what the NBA does. Franchising helps establish brands and build fan loyalty because you are more likely to watch a team that you know. So franchising combined with rapid growth of esports made investors think that they were onto something big, possibly the next NBA. The investment cycle continued and more money came in expanding that esports bubble. The media loved every minute of it, boasting tournament winning, sold out crowds, and huge investments. Here we find Victor and Team Liquid again. The company had merged with Curse Esports, they had taken some investment, and were growing rapidly. And so, with that support, uh, yeah, we were allowed to build Team Liquid in uh, some of the most important time in esport, um, expand into additional games again. Everything was looking good for Team Liquid in the world of esports. But then, in early 2020, the pandemic happened. Fast breaking developments in the coronavirus. The coronavirus is also hitting esports. At first, this massively disrupted everybody's plans. Events were canceled, stadiums sat empty, and sponsors were nervous. But there were some upsides. No one was traveling, so most people were isolating. And to fill up this free time, people watched more competitive gaming. The viewership saw big peaks, and viewing hours on Twitch reached insane heights. I personally remember watching all sorts of events, including the monthly coin box which is a Smash online tournament supported by Team Liquid and sponsored by Coinbase. This is also when crypto and NFTs started to explode, and we see some of the biggest gaming sponsors ever. Companies so the, like Coinbase, whoops, Uniswap. Whoops. <clears throat> so this was a, an interesting time. The pandemic, I think, first of all, you had a lot of inflated things like Overwatch League that were going to work out that I think were able to kind of sidestep, at least temporarily, the financial calamities that were to come from the franchising model they had that wasn't sustainable. Um, what Overwatch League did long-term was really bad, and it scared away a lot of investors. If you talk to people in the investing space and you want to get like a gig or some kind of thing funded, a lot of times you don't even want to use the word esports because it's viewed as kind of radioactive because uh, of the damage that happened there. But one of the good things, well, it's not good. The pandemic hit. That also helped boost a lot of numbers which led to a lot of growth in streaming um, and possible sponsorships. But you also had the collapse of the crypto bear market. A lot of this stuff was backed up by crypto, um, what do you call it, uh, exchanges like Coinbase or FTX. If you don't know what happened with FTX, that completely uh, shit the bed. Uh, Sam Bankman Fried is in jail now. Um, but that also tanked a lot of the money that was coming in. So it took a huge hit, uh, as well as just the, the, the speculation bubble that was around this in general. If you want to know a little dark secret that would happen in a lot of marketing for these esports events is, so we all know when you talk about esports, you're talking about many different games inside of a uh, of an idea, right? You've got Smash Brothers, you've got StarCraft, you've got Counter-Strike, you've got Dota. Um, a lot of times when people would go to get sponsors, they would just show them the numbers for esports, which is literally everything. Can you imagine if I were to show you a number for sports and how big sports is? And so a lot of these companies basically were not really fairly representing the growth of it. And a lot of these investors are too dumb to understand that uh, eSports is not like a monolith, right? Like, I mean, there's other games I like to watch and play, but most of us are primarily uh, RTS 
focused, right? And there's plenty of esports that are out there that I, maybe I'm not interested in, but a lot of it was marketed as just here's esports and how much esports has grown versus like tactical shooters uh, or, you know, Counter Strike alone as of itself. Um, and so I think that led to like getting too much money into the system too quickly that then you, you couldn't possibly make the money back and make the thing profitable because it wasn't uh, the the money that was coming in wouldn't be able to match the output or, or, or make it profitable in any way. So, a little Playing tidbit FTX. there. Esports looks like this cash cow of the future. And for the first time in history, an esports team went public. We're celebrating FaZe Clan's listing as a publicly traded company. When FaZe Clan's stock debuted, they sat at $19 per share, which valued FaZe at over a billion dollars. It was crazy. People are excited. Snoop yeah, Dogg was excited. From an outsider looking in, esports looked like this rocket heading towards the moon. Then problems started to appear. Once this was one of the uh, interesting moments when when that clan got announced because everybody knew that you know, like don't get me wrong, I, I make a living doing this, um, but like esports is not that profitable. You know, like the very best casters do well, the very best um, uh, players do well. But also we're independent agents. I can stream. I can make content. I can kind of – I'm like a, an individual. Same with like a lot of StarCraft pro gamers. Teams have a hard time being profitable. There's a lot more expenses that have to be managed. Housing, travel, um, all sorts of stuff like this. So um, anyways, let me continue on. Viewership went down. People could now leave their homes and do other hobbies again. Then crypto and NFT companies started to fail and sponsor money started drying up. FaZe, the shiny example for esports teams – had their shares plummet. And this team seems to be horribly managed, by the way. From everything that I've heard, it really poorly managed. To less than a dollar, and they might soon be delisted from the NASDAQ. The Overwatch League, the esport that was meant to be the standard of all leagues going forward, closed its doors, screwing a ton of people on the way down. Everybody got burned with that. So sad. And lastly, the cherry on top of all of this chaos, many investors pulled out. Those that pumped esports full of cash just left the scene. What was once the golden goose was now the ugly duckling and the media just piled on. The global nature of esports is also its downfall. Cutbacks and closures and layoffs. Article after article, video after video just bashed esports. What was once a passionate esports community selling out stadiums had now become jaded with viewership on the decline. Less and less people watched events, and it's because we lost the story. Thing got lost in the story. If you know what I'm talking about, maybe you can leave a comment about it. But the passion's gone. I don't care anymore. This is another thing I've, I've thought about a little bit, and I, I, I would hold probably Riot more responsible for this than than other companies. But there's something I don't know what the actual term is, but it's like viewer fatigue. One of the things that I like about GSL and that I liked about the old Star Leagues, like the OSL and the MSL. Um, as a fan before I started working in it is like there's enough to keep up with like a TV drama like you can keep up with it but it's not on every fucking day you know it's it's not endless and I think especially with what Riot's done it's like it's on all day every day I, I used to do Valorant for the last couple of years some of the broadcast days are like it's like eight hours or more like how much time do I have to give to just keep up with this game I, I think on, on some level and you should always have some content out there in the space that people can engage with but i think you also want to have enough bite-sized that you can you know uh as someone who wants to come in and, and kind of be part of it actually keep up sure like i like i watch the lcs and it's so boring i don't know anything is going on I don't care about the players or their story because no one's ever told me why I should. There, there's just there's just nothing going on. It's so boring. It's reflected in the viewership that's declining year over year. The reason why we love competitive gaming is the same reason we love sports, racing, the Olympics, even hot dog eating competitions. We want to see the humanity or inhumanity, the rise of a player, the skills, the rivalry, the brotherhood. It's the reason a semifinals league tournament sold out Madison Square Garden in three minutes and why the LCS is struggling now. Were the 2015 LCS players better? I doubt it, but the stories were so much better, or at least they were told better. I yeah, I think especially in League, they're kind of losing the, the, the there's so much there, and it's it's so, it's there's so much to keep up with that I think it is hard to get the narrative out 
a lot of times. I feel like we've always had an easy time with this in GSL, even when GSL was on a lot more because it wasn't anywhere near as much as what we have with some of these other games. I don't think that the, the, the teams or the publishers have made sufficient effort to really tell the stories of these players. And to some extent, telling those stories is impossible because the publishers drove the teams to dog eat dog, basically play as hard as you can and if you don't, you're relegated. You're, you get kicked out of the league. Stories and personal experiences are why I'm an SSG Halo fan. I went to a Halo tournament with some buddies hosted by Space Station Gaming, and they showed how one of their players rose from a no-name kid playing in the basement to one of the best in the world. It personalized this experience, and it made me want to root for him. Not to mention, the energy in that place was palpable. <laughs> Stories are also why I now root for team. Look at the boys. Oh, the memories. I love these guys so much. Liquid, because I like Victor. I like his history, how he rose from a 17 year old kid playing StarCraft in his basement, to playing professionally in Korea, to the CEO of one of the biggest esports teams in the world. It creates this connection for me, tying me to the organization. But the problem is, even though I'm an SSG fan and Team Liquid fan, most people don't care about teams. They only care about the players involved. As Devin puts it, no matter what you do in an esports team, you're one step removing the viewer from the influencer themselves. Sure. By adding a brand on top of it and then saying to that person, care about this brand. Sure. So let's look at like CLG. If I have Double Lift on my team, it's like a really prominent League of Legends influencer, yeah. right? Why should the person stop me, the brand, CLG, and not just go straight into Double Lift, support them, subscribe to them, buy their merch, do that kind of thing? That's really important. Did you hear what he just said there? So when a prominent player like Double Lift or Faker leaves one team for another, the fans leave with him. This will always exist in sports. When Messi went to Inter Miami, their fan base exploded. But what's different about Miami compared to esports teams, when Messi leaves or retires, Miami will always have a loyal fan base because people in Florida who like soccer will root for their local team. Not to mention, the team itself is part of a much larger MLS organization. So connections and associations to things outside of players are critical to the long-term success, which is also why content creators like Disguised Toast, Charlie, and Ludwig are all breaking into the scene. They have these huge fan bases that care about them, which extends to their teams. But connection isn't the primary problem with esports. Lack of stories isn't the reason investors pulled out or why so many teams are failing. Esports is struggling because it isn't profitable. You don't know, pretty much every single esports organization is vastly overvalued because they're all subsidized by venture capitalist groups that are probably going to get fed up in three to five years when none of them are profitable. Now, esports not being profitable is an open secret in the industry. If you're in this for the money, esports is a terrible side project, I would argue. Some organizations like TSM claim profitability, but most teams openly admit they are burning cash. So you just burn the money like this? Just like that. <laughs> Even Victor and Team Liquid aren't profitable, with Victor stating in his interview, Yeah, so so this year is uh, not quite over, uh, but at least at Liquid we can confidently say that we are either break even or very close to break even in 2023. Which is why most teams aren't really focused on esports. Someone in chat asks, cashing money from sponsors is not profitable. Uh, I look, it depends. I mean, there's a lot of overhead with the teams. You know, you're a lot of times, especially for the, the games that seem to get the, the, you know, that are the biggest esports, which are, which are the team games, you have like a lot of players. You're busting them around. You need to have somebody who's going to babysit's not the right word, but manage them. Um, <clears throat> not all these players want to stream. That's something I'm going to talk about in a second here, but. Uh, also, advertising money back then wasn't quite there yet, you know, and, and, and with the damage that's happened in the industry, I don't know when it's going to catch up and be there. But team team esports especially, much more difficult to be profitable than um, individual ones like uh, Street Fighter or StarCraft, stuff like that. But on other revenue sources, things like apparel, content creation, and sponsors, any team focused on just making money off competitions and events is either paying their players way below market rate or they're surviving off outside investment. This is so backward from traditional sports, where the majority of money for teams comes from the events, specifically yeah. team sales and broadcasting. But esports teams are the opposite, with most of the revenue coming from sponsorships and merchandise. But the problem yeah, with using important. your team as a brand to sell something is that you need to create connections with your audience for them to want to buy. 
And it's so much harder to do that as a team than it is to do as a player. So the current esports model isn't sustainable. At least it isn't unless we want teams to become multimedia companies, which could be fine, but most of the time companies go where the money is. And I worry that as these teams grow their media brands, esports will take a back seat. Yeah, this is another issue is, is getting sponsorships for big individual streamers is a lot easier and a lot more profitable. So it, it, it's a little bit trickier. You know, I, here's a, here's a, the, the little dirty secret for all the pro gamers out there. You can actually probably do this and get your own sponsors and not have a team. I know that I was on a StarCraft 1 team, like a, a pro team. I was like never paid. I didn't get any money. Maybe I got like a free mouse or keyboard or something. But, um, you know, I, I think that when you grow up wanting to be a pro, you associate that with teams and the team gives you legitimacy. But, you know, a lot of the guys I know that do the best kind of have their own deals. They stream a lot. Um, you know, you, you can get you don't even have to sign to an agency full time. You can get somebody to find you sponsors and, and get you deals. But the team model is the tricky one. It's just hard to make it work, to have all these people staffed and have the pros on salary. Uh, it's it's really tricky. So teams need to find a way to be profitable on their own within esports without having to depend on other revenue sources to survive. But to do that, four things need to happen. First, they need to do better storytelling. Yes. Teams need to tell their player stories better, but they also need to tell their own story. Be more like Victor or Charlie or Disguised Toast. Make me care about your team. Get someone or multiple people to be the face. Someone who won't leave in two years for another company. Which brings me to number two. Publishers need to share more. Publishers like Riot, Valve, and Blizzard claim esports isn't profitable, which is true if you only look at the numbers. But if you were to look at the bigger picture, esports is extremely profitable for publishers who do it correctly. Think of esports as a marketing arm for publishers. Similar to teams, yeah. something to build brand and in-game market value not something that generates a profit on its own. Yeah, that's been another big issue is I think a lot of companies viewed it as like this thing in of itself will generate money where, I mean, a lot of esports events, it's almost like, you know, hour long infomercials for the game. If you can get microtransactions and other, um, I don't know, in-game items and stuff that players that want to support this can go back into the game and spend money. Like, I, I don't know how we could quantify how good um, the League of Legends World Circuit is for for League. I mean, it's like this massive advertisement, you know, that, and, and there's so many viewers. And I think as long as you look at it like that and you try to tie in those um, uh, microtrans, all that stuff, you try to tie it all together instead of trying to make it like this thing needs to make money on its own, almost as if it has nothing to do with the game. I think that's an issue. But a loss leader that drives billions of dollars in transactions within the in-game marketplace. It's marketing the game to an already bought an audience. Well, not necessarily. I mean, part of having these things on is why people want to keep playing and being part of the game is it lends legitimacy to it. Um, do esports viewers even send money to sponsors stuff on sponsor? I'm, I'm sorry. No, I'm not sure your question, Rabbit. So the real value right now within esports is skins. But most publishers don't want to share the money they make off skins yeah. since that's their primary revenue source. So they give teams some scraps while they hoard the rest. At right. least most have until recently. Riot is actually trying something new with Valorant. Yes. They removed the multi-million dollar license fee, and teams are also receiving 50% of the... Because one of the big issues is a lot of these teams are like, we are we have these players that are totally devoted to your game. We're doing all this marketing for you. And like, we don't get a cut of the pie. You know, if the game grows, the team should grow. If the if the game shrinks, then okay, the teams don't make as much. But uh, this is a really good thing that Riot's done with uh, Valorant. I hope this impacts other leagues in the future. Revenue from skin bundles, something league teams have been asking for for years. So there's a shift happening in the market that may lead to future growth and more sustainable revenue streams for teams. But that's not going to solve the problem by itself. Teams also need to cut cost, specifically player salaries, which is number three. Now I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack for saying that, but million plus yearly salaries made sense when teams had millions to spend thanks to investment. But the esports market didn't grow as expected and the money is no longer there. So the salaries need to level out to something reasonable with the goal of finding a path to profitability so salaries can jump way past a million. It's like the NFL. A family member of mine played for the New York Jets in the 60s and actually won the third Super Bowl. 
He was a defensive starter with incredible stats, but he made very little and became a high school history teacher because the NFL didn't have the money like they have now, with some salaries sitting in the hundreds of millions. It's crazy, right? But this is what happens when the market matures, which brings me to the fourth and final problem, broadcasting. As I explained in a previous video, monetization of broadcasting was limited in the 60s, 70s, and early 80s, predominantly because viewers didn't pay for TV channels. They just bought an antenna and that was it. But with the introduction of cable and satellite TV, the amount of money in television increased dramatically. These and a variety of other factors are why the NFL has so much money to throw around. They learned how to monetize their events, which is why the NFL is currently being valued at $160 billion. Now, are traditional sports and esports the same? Not at all. Traditional sports don't have the problem esports have, which is the game is owned by someone. Riot owns League of Legends and the rights to its broadcast. Imagine if the NFL owned every football and football field and if you wanted to broadcast your high school game, you had to pay the NFL or get its permission. This impedes organic growth and is why the Super Smash competitive scene isn't five times bigger than it is. Nintendo scares all the money away. But why? <laughs> why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? It's why StarCraft in Korea was so successful. Blizzard wasn't involved and the scene was allowed to grow organically with its own teams, TV channels, and more without publishers screwing it up. Now that's my own opinion. Opinion. Many people believe having the publisher involved in an esports scene is better for it, and there are arguments for that. But yeah, I, I both agree and disagree. I mean, the reality is StarCraft 1, because it was its own thing, um, it, it's why it's still kind of okay today. Uh, weirdly, I mean, we, you know, he pointed out, you know, Nintendo scares sponsors away. It's true, but oh my God, I just almost broke my mic arm. Hold on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, but like, you know, Nintendo, um, in some ways, because it was hands off, it was also able to grow at the same time. Um, you know, yeah, they've scared sponsors away. There's a balancing act, basically. There's a way to do this where both sides win. Um, and I think you need to find that sweet spot and figure out, like, how how much is the publisher involved? Like, as an example, Counter-Strike's very hands off. It's done uh, from Valve. It's done very well in some ways. There's uh, a lot of fatigue within the Counter-Strike scene because there's not, you know, a, a designated downtime, at least from what I understand. That was a couple of years ago. I don't know what it's like now. Um, League of, Riot did a good job overall with League of Legends. There were problems, but I mean, it's had like basically the healthiest, longest lasting model that there is. So I, I think there's some give and take. I think it's important that publishers find their place and that they let individuals um, and tournament organizers kind of also find their place. In the past, I found... And this was not always true uh, with Blizzard, but there were times where there was almost like an ambivalence about how well or not well if uh, pro gamers in general or, or, or casters in general were doing. And then there were periods where they really did care and were hands on. And I think it's it's trying to figure out, okay, like how much, like I would never want Blizzard to totally, back when Blizzard was a good company, nanny me and take care of everything for me. But at the same time, I do want them to give me avenues to grow and have upward mobility. Um, and I hope that we can get more companies that can figure this out Whatever you believe, the industry as a whole needs to figure out how to monetize broadcasting to be successful. Even extreme examples like what Ovi and I talked about. The other aspect of monetization is, I think we need the equivalent of like microtransactions. Yeah. For, we need some new model other than just advertising and broadcast rights. Giving people some sort of way, giving fans the ability to affect the broadcast or affect their experience of the broadcast in some way by paying money seems to me like a no brainer. Now, will all these ideas work? No, but we need to start thinking about the future like Ovi and learn how esports can survive and thrive. We should be treating this time like the 2000s, testing new ideas to see what works and what doesn't. Like any market, esports has plenty of issues that need to be addressed and overcome. But the key word here is overcome. Yes, competitive gaming didn't blow up as people expected during the investment bubble, but that doesn't mean it's failing. Esports is in its adolescence, it's growing. And like the NFL, it will take time to mature. I strongly believe people like Victor who stay passionate, who grow with the market and keep iterating will turn esports into something bigger than the NFL or NBA. Esports are just so accessible and global. Ignore the media. They focus on the short term and the now. They bash esports in the past, and pretty soon they'll be praising it again. Oftentimes I fall He's into right this about trap that. myself, letting my emotions in the moment dictate what I say versus researching the answer and thinking about the future. It's the human in us to think negatively. But I believe esports has just hit a stumbling block, and like any stumbling block, 
can be turned into a stepping stone to lift you to something greater. Be like Victor and believe in the future. Esports is not dying. It's just begun. Look, I know, I know uh, the current time in esports is definitely uh, not easy. And a lot of people, companies, but people people as well, are feeling some, some pain and, and have some neg negative experience around that. There are no fundamental issues with esports. There are revenues in esports that are real. It is just about like building an appropriately sized business according to those things. And it's a little bit of a tough time right now when businesses have been built based on investment and you just simply cannot just scale that back overnight and recalibrate your business so so easily and yeah that is that is causing definitely some struggles uh, some friction that is that is real passion for gaming passion for esports viewership for esports these things are all real and if those things are real eventually like a sport will be built upon it uh that is sustainable i we believe in that uh we will continue to strive for that and yeah we are we are definitely here to stay esports is something i've been passionate about for a while which is why the second video i ever made is about nintendo's hatred for the super smash competitive scene so if you want a deeper look at the insane world of nintendo's esports click here to watch honestly that's something we can react to another point in time because <clears throat> i have a lot of opinions on nintendo as well uh, okay, so a couple of thoughts. I see some of you guys in the chat making some points because um, I think I hear this a lot. People talking about well, Blizzard came in and took over, and then it did really poorly. So Blizzard clawed back um, StarCraft esports, which was put on illegally in, in on TV in Korea, where they never got permission. When Blizzard tried to get involved, they iced them out. Um, when Blizzard came in for StarCraft two, and, and tried to um, develop the esports scene, that was under the um, when Mike Morheim was in charge of the company, he did a really good job. They also tried to make esports for all their games. Those were all growing: Heroes of the Storm, Hearthstone, um, and then he got pushed out of the company. And the next group of leadership completely wiped out all the esports. So you had Blizzard take. I think people don't appreciate this. Blizzard took control of everything, was willing to lose money. Um, you know, over the next decade or so to try to build it out, to be positioned to, to really be huge in esports at the time. And then those people got pushed out and it completely killed, well, didn't kill, but it, it was incredibly destructive to the entire ecosystem. So when people say that publishers shouldn't get involved because it's bad, and I think there are definitely some criticisms that can be leveled at Riot, you need to understand that like, the people that actually wanted to foster esports got axed, and then all the people under them got axed. And then, you know, um, shows like GSL lost funding. You know, I, I'm not at BlizzCon casting pro gamers anymore. So it's important to understand that uh, dynamic. I want to say this guy's videos are really good. This is one of the most well researched videos uh, on the topic I've ever seen, while not being, I guess, like just negative for the sake of being negative it's actually thoughtful um so definitely check this guy's channel out this is uh going indie i really enjoyed that um if you like me reacting to this kind of content let me know in the comments thank you so much for joining me for this video see this shirt how cool is that shirt tastos shirt you can get that at tastelessthreads.com my merch site and um you are always welcome to join me on my twitch stream where i make these videos live with my community have a good day. Bye-bye. One take tasteless chat. Dude, I got to figure out my lighting situation. There's something with the way my lighting set up where it makes me really shiny. Like the box behind me is shiny. My face is shiny. Oh, thank you for the sub, by the way. I didn't see that. I'm the greatest human ever to have lived. Fucking me. It's not Caesar. It's not Genghis Khan. It's not George Washington. You got it's your not shirt fucking today. Flash. Although he gets honorable mention. It's me. Never Clutch, just subscribe. Thank you, Never Happy Clutch. Happy days. Happy days to you, too. Um, I Supposedly, there's a way. I think I'm supposed to have, like, a... What the fuck is it called? It's like one of those lights that looks like a box. That's supposed to make me less shiny. SC2 sabotage esports scene in three ways. One, opening balance and lack of build diversity. I don't think that affected the esports at all. Two, expansions that would dramatically change the scope. That I could get behind. Three, aggressive creative control limiting possibilities for organic growth. Uh, yeah, I think that, that's a fair. That, that, that third point's fair.
I should make my you should make your own stream sub only, like this guy said in the video. Sort of off topic. Do you remember in Korea when they caught that crazy murderer with a hammer and the policeman walking him down the court steps like a ninja kicked the lady through the air? I think I do remember that actually. That wasn't recent though, right? Yeah, the, the, I, I can agree with that, Alexis. Uh, it's um, Heart of the Storm was bad. It was actually bad for me to cast, to be honest with you. I didn't enjoy casting it, and then like I would get hate on Twitter. <laughs> People were like, fuck you, and you're casting it. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Um, let me get Battle that loaded up here. Now, should we do StarCraft, or should we go right into WarCraft 2? I think we might have to do Warcraft 2 chat. Those lights are called soft soft boxes. Thank you. Um, where, where's my Battle.net app? Here it is. Okay. Sorry, I got to restart Battle.net one second. But I do like that, that in that guy's video, he's actually, like, optimistic. I've heard of it, Excalibur. Now, we had a hard time getting this to work, so let me see if I can get this to load up here. See if this works. Uh, do I not have a button on my? Oh no, I don't have a button for this. Hold on, I gotta go open this up in OBS. Oh, this shit again. Well, no, the, here's the problem. It's full screen on my screen. Oh, no, I remember what we did. We used the, the GOG one. Okay, I remember how we fixed this. No, it's full screen for me. It's minim minimized for you. Prometheum, it was good seeing you at GSL. I'm sorry we didn't get to hang out, man. I assume you had to fly out. Uh, okay. I forgot that you can't use Blizzard apps to have their own game. We have to go on GOG all games. Wait. Okay, so it's one of these versions. Thank God. Uh, just so you guys know, we did get our goal for that Psalms gameplay through. We'll be doing that later. Gauntlet Wizard tipped $5. Oh, sweet. The sequel to WoW is out. I've been waiting forever for this.
If I tab out, is it gonna fuck this up? Can we These things wouldn't Holy be in my shit. base if those hadn't fucking glitched on the fridge. Oh! Thank Gaunt you, Gauntlet. Have just subscribed. Love you. Uh, let me do one thing. Hopefully this doesn't fuck up everything. You just move the factor thing over here, and I think we're good. I think we're Gucci. One more sec, guys. I forgot I don't have YouTube chat open. I'm sorry, YouTube. I've been ignoring you guys the whole fucking time. Thanks again, Gauntlet, man. All right, YouTube chat, I see you now. Sorry about that. We had to start in a hurry. Um, wait, one more thing. Okay, we ready to go? So this is act four. Let me just check my objective, my objectives here. Options. No, scenario objectives. Destroy the storm, storm reaver clan. Destroy the twilight city. So just kill everything. Got it. Thank you for the hundred bits, Neilium. It's three hundred more to get a uh, TTS. I should probably fix that. This is almost too fast. This seems a little bit better. So is this our new home? Zeppelins? That's insane. That's wild, man. It just feels excessive to me. I probably didn't even need, need, need to unload these guys over here. In reality, I could just have the boats kill them. Shit. Shit. Shit! Captain. 
So bad. What does he actually have over here? Can I take this too? No, that's a lot. Yeah, we gotta build our way up there. Lose a ship in this. I thought I had more than this. Get in. something to defend this. Dude, so much lumber here, so we gotta take over this thing first of all. Um, I have so much money, this is fucking wild, man. Slowing the game down accidentally. Ready to work. Oh, what? Nice. Uh, Ogre Mao? What do I need now? Boundary, I guess? I don't remember my tech tree chat. We just, like, don't have wood. Oh, is he, like, bombing my... So much money, Jesus Christ. Oh no! This level's actually so hard. Oh dude, this is fucking wild. What? I think we've already lost this level. Alright, hold on. Let me let me try restarting. Every starting okay i think what i gotta do is i got it how much how much gold do i even have in here it's not that much i think i need to hit both of these islands let me just see if i can find more information out there was a close refinery oh fuck there was
Is there a third island we could take here? So this would be a good landing pad, I guess. Another island, but no gold. but I guess they've got trees on them, so there's that. So this is just one huge piece of land. Damn, they really don't give you a lot to work with. No gold base up here even? drink of water we're gonna go back into it hey we recorded group c we record group c tonight Times just cheered X300, this is not a spoiler, so please don't skip. But in the round of 16, group B video of ASL, and 48 minutes and 20 seconds, you can see some beautiful Korean girls with incredible legs good lord am I down bad for some Korean nooners. Anyways enjoy your Warcraft 2 tasteless. Thank you. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. These guys are gonna go fuck up the ogres on that boat over there. Oh my god, move. Dude, those things one-shot the ogres? That's wild, man. Shit, shit, turtles, toidles. Alright, we got this. Oh my god, go faster, tasteless. Faster, tasteless. So bad. Control zero. Okay, so we're now now we're really doing it. Now we're doing it. Ready to work. Arc. Work complete. 
Fuck is my other transport ship over here? Oh, that's annoying. Oh my god, you almost can't keep up. God, I'm getting so much money. Two base Warcraft 3, but Warcraft 2 is insane. Actually, we need one more boat over here. What is this? Oh shit. Dude, it's fucking crazy how hard they come on you. With the boats. We finished that thought. Shipyard. Ooh, I have so much money. Wild. Good lord. transports do I this fucker killed all my transports all right we gotta hide this dude you gotta get the boats up fast it's wild maybe I neglected that too much we probably gotta go straight into like two mm. Sorry, why do I not have ogres yet? What do I need to have ogres? You're too caught oh, up in theory. Blacksmith. Oh, thank you, game theory expert from MIT. You fucking moron. 
the underscore deluxe just subscribed, got a drop a free sub for tassels when he's rocking my favorite Tastosis t-shirt, now available at Tasteless Threads. Thank you, the deluxe. Did I just lose all my catapults? Fuck me. Oh, we didn't get fucking oil. I think what we actually have to do on this map is immediately tech up into a big naval fleet. I think I'm trying to like turtle on land for too long. Wild man. All right, here I'm gonna restart. GG game. I know how to do it now. This is what we gotta we gotta just tech into juggernauts super fast. Yep, two base shipyard built. That's the play. The Northlands have fallen, and now only the western regions of Lordaeron stand defiant before the ultimate supremacy of the Horde. As the Orc clans prepare for their final massive campaign against the weakening alliance, the War. Ch yes, yes, master. But you want to kill us? I am eighty. I would love to. Your Ark. Ark. Yes, Captain. You're the Captain. You're the Captain. Yes, Captain. You're the Captain. Yes, Captain. I would love to. Your Ark. I am eighty. I am eighty. You're the Captain. You're the Captain. You're the Captain. I would love to. Ark. You're the Captain. I would love to. You're the Captain. I am eighty. I am eighty. I am eighty. I would love to. Ahoy. Ark. Yes, Captain. I would love to. Ahoy. Yes, Captain. Ahoy. Ark. I would love to. Leave one catapult back here. Master? Yes, Captain. Would you want a key? Right. Would you want a key? All right. Would you want a key? 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 Here. 
Where are the other catapults? I thought I had three. I guess I lost one. It's annoying. Stupid fucking game. So hard. Adjust the speed, maybe. Maybe that's what we should do. It's actually so fast, so I can't. I can't actually keep up. All right, GG game. This is actually yeah. yeah this is true. There's actually like no way for me to do all the stuff I need to do. He's sick. What he should have sucked. <laughs> The Northlands have <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. Okay. Options, speeds. Let's try about there. I be the captain. I be the captain. All right. I be the Oh, this is so much slower. Is this really? Let's try here. Well, this might be a more manageable number uh, way to play, though. 
Fuck me. Oh. At least we're moving at a pace that's like manageable. These things wouldn't be in my base if those had fucking glitched Holy on the shit. bridge. Oh! Thank you, Fish Fish. Call 151 just subscribe. Thank you. How many was that? Holy shit. Was that 10? Oh my god. Thank you so much, man. Making my day over here, man. Thank you again, Fish. I love you, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Okay. So this is at a pace where I can actually, like, do stuff. Okay, I'm trying every fiber of my being right now. Super try hard here. I'm sorry, I thought I put two in here, did I not? Cover your eyes, chat. <laughs> Fuck you, guy in the chat. You're out of here. Thank you so much. Appreciate the support, Proko. Welcome to the channel. Hope you stick around. Okay, so this is like a speed I think I can actually play the game at. You can use patrol on this, right? What is it? Oh, P. Okay. Oops, did I just turn down the speed? Here is the shipyard. Ready to work. Ready to work. Ready to work. Ready to work. 
Come on. Ready to work. More gold, but we don't. So we're gonna go double shipyard. This is cleared, right? No. All right, I gotta get the juggernaut over here. down here. Pull blacksmith. Thank you. No. Oh my god, I think I might have fucked this one up again. We have too much gold. It just feels like I have so many guys cutting trees, but then when you look at it, it's like clearly not tasteless. Clearly gold is gathered so much quicker. Oh my god. Just everybody mine wood. Everybody cut trees. Everybody. Everybody now. God, there's no way to speed that up, is there? Oh my god, could this be any slower? It's fucking crazy. Work complete. Ready to work. Ready to Shit. work. Yes, work complete. Work complete. How much? Oh, we gotta get a foundry too. Fuck. Work complete. Ready to work. We literally don't have guys wanting get. We have like one or two guys wanting gold here. Oh my god, everything's so slow. I think we're gonna lose again, chat. I think we're in deep shit. Just get destroyers from now. Alright. 
Not of oil. All right, let's make two more tankers here. Let's really sap this thing. I think I can just wall in this, uh, this thing over here. How much does this cost? Okay, we can start getting juggernauts. We're actually going to be okay. A little bit more oil. Bring me the oil. Okay. I think we got this now. Jesus, the wood. It's fucking wild, man. Somehow survive that. But I'm gonna have him retarget. Please fire first. Fuck. 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 Where's my where's my transport? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. This is wild, man. We're actually doing it. I think we're, we're going to be okay. shots in this game. It's kind of wild. Alright, I think I'm just going to make a bunch of grunts because we only have gold. How do I get the um, booger mages? Sorry, how do I... How do I get ogre mages? Oh, we had to go upgrade to a fortress. I forgot there's tier 3 in this game. I'm so bad. This didn't go as well as it should have. Did I really need more than this? Yes, Captain, you're the captain. Yes, Captain. Oh, I'm a team. Arg, I'm a team. Arg, I'm a team. Arg, I'm a team. 
It's still so funny they say ARG. Yes, Captain. I may take your, your command, command as master. Work complete. It's on. It's on. Oh, we need 500 lumber for that? ARG. We're being ARG. I may take your command as master. As master. As master. As master. As master. As master. Dude, we never even got to like our proper tier three. It's kind of wild. Oh, fuck. We're ready, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready. Yes, Captain. Yes, Captain. Yes, Captain. Arg, Arg, we're being attacked. I think we got this. Smith. 
Lumber is starting to get a little bit sparse here. Yes, Master, of course. Let's clear this out. Actually, I really shouldn't make that there. There's actually so much lumber on this island, I didn't really appreciate it. I'm sorry, where did my transport go? Did he sink it? I think he might have sunk it. Alright, we'll come back to this. Actually, you guys go here. Oh, there's my other transport ship, too. I never lost it. Had it all along. That's everything, right? All right. Unload over here. Oh, I didn't realize the stuff was actually over here. What does the whirlwind do? Does anybody remember? Yes. 
gonna use bloodlust. We gotta upgrade the uh, catapult damage. Jesus, our money's so high, but we're gonna be okay. This has plenty of gold. Oh, these guys can't hit air. Shit. Probably not the best way to do this. Shit, we gotta go fucking back. Oh, that's right. I gotta blow these rocks up. Fuck, I forgot about this part. All right, we gotta get a bunch of trolls. Side. So much lumber, it's actually kind of wild. What does Rollwind do? Very well. Damage anything in a specific area? Catapults clog up the entrance. 
Let's go kill Cho'Gall. Are you ready? Shit. I killed all my stuff. Cautious right now. I'm just trying to make sure I'm like not. I'll assume before this gold mine's gone. I don't really have a lot of time here. There's no other gold on this map, right? Where the fuck? There's a goddamn submarine over here. chat almost there Boats in this game are so stupid. It's crazy to me. It's so bad. Okay, we're done with each of these islands, right? That's not it. Would you want a key? All right, all right. Mark. Can you outrange this? Am I wrong about this? I think this is pretty much it. What is it? Of course. Yes, I would love to. I would love to. Ahoy! Yes, Captain. Ahoy! We're being attacked. You're the captain. I may teach you the box. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is gonna be it. Let me um. There's nothing else on the map, right? You're the captain. Yes, Captain. You're the captain. Captain, ahoy! Ahoy! Captain, ahoy! 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 Aho
This is the last tower, right? This is it. Yeah, we win this. Very cool. Do buildings burn down in Warcraft 2, or is that not true? Of course. Of course. We never actually got the um, Berserker upgrade. I guess we did it at the very end there. This is it. This is it, chat. And we close this game out. On to the next chapter. How long did this take? It's felt like it took forever. Can't believe we did it, chat. Oddly enough, we never mined out all the trees on this map. Alright, let's play it safe here. Something's out here on the map. I would love to. I would love to. You're the captain. Oh, I would love to. I would love to. Oh, 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 I would love to. There's really no way to run out of oil on this map. It's kind of crazy. Lord Lord. I would love to. I would love to. Oh, 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 I would love to. 11 o'clock island? Here? I don't think so. I mean, we can send this... You're the captain. You're the captain. You're the captain. Send this guy back over here. Between the islands? We'll find out in a second. I don't think so, though. Oh, you're so good, chat. Can I cast Bloodlust on a boat? Oh, more you know. Seems like the ships, it's very easy to bug them. I would love to. I think that's it. I bet it's not. I bet it's not it. Yes, Captain. Oh, we did it. Oh my God, You're making me work. The hour of judgment is close at hand as the orcish hordes stand ready to sweep across this domain like a pestilence and seize the capital of Lordaeron. Standing vigilant above the plains like the descending arm of twilight itself is the violent citadel of Dalaran. The citadel, serving as sanctum and haven to the mages of Lordaeron, is the last barrier between the orcs and their subjugation of humanity. Manifested in the combined magical prowess of all mages within the Alliance, this place must fall for the Horde to conquer Lordaeron. Fortunately, Orgrim Doomhammer has saved his greatest weapon, ready to unleash it upon the unsuspecting Alliance at just this moment. Dragons.
Nice. Uh, we'll do the um, Psalms playthrough. Let me figure that out after I get done with this. We can do it soon, though. All right. What you want to do? Don't lock it. Don't lock it. Hold You got me. Wait, what? Do I like this? Oh wait, I have these two? Didn't even realize. Oh, I remember this mission now as a kid. Of course they won't give me enough room to do this. Wait, they can go under here, right? I thought I locked myself out. I was like, oh god. It's the only base I've got. Oh, what? My death knight? Shit. How about something you should not be losing? Fuck. Let me go back up here and see if there's anything hidden up here. Oh, that's brutal. Sorry, I had... Oh, no, I have two pounds. Okay. No. I need to get, like, a lumber mill over here. Would you want me to the boss? You the boss? Okay. Nothing here, right? Other than these trees, which I could get at some point in time. Now, is there's a possibility maybe I can blow this stuff up and there's a resource place somewhere around here? I don't know. They're not going to give me a lot of gold here for this. Let 
One more farm. One game. Would free up some supply at least, yeah. Dude, seriously, we need another one? God damn it. I should have just had everybody mine wood. Yeah, I can't use my eyeball scout then. <laughs> Alright, I think we're gonna put three on wood in a second here. This map are really just gold starved, it looks like. There is more gold scammer? No, I don't think so. Well, how, I mean, is it behind the rocks? This is completely cut off. Is there a way to go around this? Also, no spoilers, please. <clears throat> no, 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 just, just let me play through, guys. It's okay. Ready to work. Blow up rocks to sappers. Thought into it. Well, you spoiled it, but. We might as well go for it. Wait, where's the other one? There's something weird about the path on this map. I seem to have a hard time. It open up. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't have more, right? No. Ready to work. Make this? Look, Samson. Look, Samson. Look, 
Oh my god, I did this way too. I'm trying to be like too super efficient. I'm trying to be too much of a pro gamer in this campaign. I didn't want to make my lumber yard down here and now I'm just slowing down all my development. I'm so fucking bad. so stupid why was i treating this like small patch of trees like it's so important that i get so bad all right more lumber in here All right, let's get the fortress up here. What is stronghold? Sorry, not fortress. Work complete. Work complete. All right, let me see if I can scout here. Fucking seriously? Give me some wood, man. Come on, game. Okay, I think this is all right. All right, let's go scout. I don't even know if there's oil on this. Oh, there's oil on this map. Boat boys, saddle up. Oh my god, we need that, that for a fortress? Shit! Oh, 
Dude, there's no kid gold base up there, man. Oh, I thought I started this. Oh, of course, I can't start it yet. from here on out, chat. Is there any other oil up here? Is it just this one place right over here? Alright. This, this mission is way easier. those goblins for nothing for sure. something in my eye. One second. Oh. Sorry, one second. Hold on. Just gold. Interesting. Only cannons, you said. Okay. Shit, that's a throwback. Although I gotta be careful, I don't think I can actually afford that much. Shit. 
shit. Dude, it's so unresponsive, it's crazy. Yeah, it seems like on this map you really can't just like kind of get everything. Final two juggernauts. I think this is going to be pretty doable, chat. This is really annoying. So I only have that oil there. Ahoy! Ahoy! Yes, Captain, you're the captain. Ahoy! Ahoy! 
How are we doing on funding back here? Alright. Here's what we're going to start doing. Uh, fuck. Oh! Yes, Master? What is this? this is fucking pro gamer night over here? I'm a little bit worried I might not have enough. It's a lot of static defense to try to go through, basically. All right, do we have any more, have any more catapults here? in here. What is it? S S? What is it? Right away. Right away. What? What? Once we get a tower, it basically never comes back up. At least that's what it seems like. Finally, these fucking guys over here. It's fucking crazy. We might not be able to do this. Yes, Jesus hard, Christ. Hard. Oh, All right, how are we doing on gold? We do not have a lot of gold. It does seem like you can't quite just like push in in this game. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god. Alright, um. Let's see here. I wonder if we could maybe put this over here. Yes, master. Yeah, maybe I can like park out here. 
What? Dude, I gotta get more dragons. It's like I just, I'm not really dealing with the fact that there's griffins on this map. I never got bloodlust. What does Touch of Darkness do? Does that just do damage to them? All right, let's actually take a bunch of workers and just kind of start to push up here. to go where I want them to go. The pathing's just so bad. It's like crazy. Right, so we don't have any more gold. Yes, very Alright. Okay, can we just kill this thing? My fucking catapult's just wasting everybody's time over here. God, they all chain react? Shit. How was I supposed to know? I had no idea. Fuck me, man. Okay, I think we can secure this gold gold mine here. Okay, we're actually gonna do this. We're gonna be okay. Okay, I forgot how good Death Knights are. I totally forgot about that. That is uh, pretty big. Okay, we can do this. Okay. 
Okay. This is actually fucking hard, but I think we're gonna do it. No! Okay, we just got to use Death and Decay. Like, super slow ball Death and Decay it. They're like the ultimate siege weapons here. Look at my fucking supply, it's wild. Okay. Oh, what? I just lost? Shit. We actually still have this. Okay. I kind of forgot I had all this stuff. Seems like all we gotta do is basically tear down the, uh, Towers and everything else is pretty doable. Yeah. Dude, how long does it take us to destroy a building in this game? It's fucking crazy, man. Okay, we're almost out of resources, so we really gotta kind of haul ass here. Okay, I think we're gonna be all right. Tedious mission, man. Good 
dragons are so fucking unresponsive. It's fucking wild. No. What does Whirlwind do? Does anybody know? I don't remember this ability at all. over there so i should be able to just aim move everything up and kill this shit off and then we just have the final quadrant out here honestly a pretty tough mission it's pretty hard to get in there and, and actually get the damage done in this game All right, we've almost done it. Was there any other stuff down here? Just more oil if we ever needed it. No other hidden islands or anything? It would've been fun if they had like a hidden island up here or something. Okay. All right, we did it, guys. Holy shit, we did it. Forgot the dragons can do damage to your own units. Is this the last level? Do, I, do we just beat the game? GG. Oh my God, so fun. I'm gonna pee, give me one second.
Okay. Man, that's the way to do it is the uh, Death Knights. They're just better than catapults. Alabaster parapets of Lordaeron's capital loom before you in the distance. The proud, defiant armies of the Alliance stand resolute in their final, fleeting moments. All that remains is the shrill, clarion call to battle and the fulfillment of our destiny. The tides of darkness are now at hand. At hand. Whoa, two bases. Oh, we're on there on my island. That's what I thought might happen. All right. We don't have a barracks, right? Okay, I guess we probably don't need one on the island, so we might as well make it here. Is it just have guys ready to repair? Okay. Oh, we need, um, fuck. Jesus, we don't have any fucking trees at all. 
Totally too gold heavy. We got idle peons everywhere. Fuck. I'm sorry, I thought I made this uh hmm. This is wild. I got way too much shit. Alright, let's try to Oh my god, this is such a hard level. Fucking fortress up. Shit. Fuck me. Stronghold, not fortress. Fuck. Dude, this is crazy how hard this level is. They really go hard. Oh my god. Dude, this is crazy. Holy shit. Does the cannon tower do like full damage to um Alright. GG game. Restart. Jesus, that's pretty tough. Okay, so I need to really, like, I need to get defenses up here. Here, let me just check something. Just to see. Is, how, it, are they actually coming in from land, or is this a, a push by boat? Okay, so there's actually, I don't think this is an island the way I thought it was. No, it is. All right. We need a barracks on each spot. I think I need to make a... I need to, like, daisy chain the towers over here and make farm walls here. Guard towers are better for defense, but they don't hit air. Use bloodlust. We're not even near where we can bloodlust tech. Yeah. Okay, let me try restarting. Parapets of Lord no, no, no. Cannon towers cannot hit air. You in the distance, the proud, defiant armies of the Alliance. Shit. All right, I'm gonna actually start a wall with a lumber mill and a farm. Do not judge, chat. This is the way the pros do it. Control zero. Control nine. Mine gold. Ready 
No, no, no. Shit. Forgot to get this. Hard into gold first. Oh, look at how good this is. Oh my god, we're the greatest. I made my barracks too soon. I think we got a tech into the... Ah, the, yeah. Let me try to try this. Wait, what? What do we need? Oh, we have. We can do this now, right? What does it take to get tier two? Why can I not get tier two? Oh, because we literally don't have a barracks. Oh, fuck. Oh, I really shit the bed with that. All right, you know what? This is this wall is actually so tight it doesn't really help me. Barf, who's that? Angry Korea man, thank you so much for the raid. Yeah, this is the play right here. Now that we have this opening, this is actually great. Still need more wood, huh? 
Push us with grunts coming up here, I think. What are the what are the requirements to get a fortress? Okay, we should need more wood. Actually not oh there's actually a lot oh there's a lot over here what the fuck this is so much stuff holy shit that's insane There's not even another gold mine on this? God damn, that's annoying. That's crazy to me. Plenty of wood on this island. What I'm worried about is the gold. Not a massive. Oh, we didn't even get the ogre major frame before we did it. Oh, chat. No, we actually don't need that many. We do need his farms. Actually, this this mission I don't think is gonna be that hard, honestly. Okay. 
paralyzed right now uh where's my zeppelin thing okay wait why can i not make a goblin zeppelin why can i not make it what are the conditions for a goblin zeppelin does anybody know this i'm on these nuts Oh, because I lost lumber mill. Of course. That's why. All right, now I'm, now I'm relaxed again. Building ship. Work complete. Got to know those tech trees, man. Okay, this is gonna be easy now. I think we got what we need. Yes, Captain. Work complete. Done building ship. Work complete. Work complete. I may be the Yes, of course. Yes, Work complete. You're the building ship. We're being Oh my, there's so much more income over here. All right. Alright, so this is going to be pretty easy, I think. Next step is I just get my juggernaut fleet and push. Work 
We got everything else upgraded over here. Okay. All right. Work so I think we got something good going on over here. Now we close out this mission. Definitely not the hardest mission, by the way. Definitely not. Okay, last set of juggernauts. Two more to come out after that. We're gonna be on the move. Oh, 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 oh,
God, that range is insane. Where are my pawn, uh, pawns? My peons? I think I lost them all. Shit. Appreciate the support. We're about to beat this game, chat. Shit. Wasn't supposed to happen. Fucking barf! It's raid to me. Yo, hey, Pop, what's up, buddy? Huge raid there, man. 100 people. Welcome, everybody. We're about to beat the Orc campaign in Warcraft 2. Hope you had a good stream, hey, Pop. Oh, 
Thank you for the sub. Who is that? Yo, two months with you, man. Thank you, um, Drak here. Alright, let's close this fucking game out, chat. Bloodlust is so busted. It's crazy. Everything this is my favorite part of the Warcraft 2 campaign. Is the part where you love to see. Is there a boat somewhere? Is this the last boat in the game, or is there a turtle submarine somewhere? Let's speed the game up now. Okay, we did it. I think we just beat the game, guys. Rank chieftain, dude. Are we ready for the final cutscene? skies covering the ruined capital of Lordaeron. Your success has led Orgrim Doomhammer, war chief of the Orcish Hordes, to elevate you to the station of Warlord, thus giving you power and the command of your own clan. The Alliance has finally been crushed, with all those surviving being slain and cremated as is dictated by the rituals. At long last, Azeroth and all of its lands belong to the thunderous force known to those foolish enough to stand in its way as the Horde. We did it, chat. Two days to beat. Two streams, I guess. Probably could have beaten in one day if we wanted to. But when I was a kid, this took me like eight months to beat or something like that.
Should we do the Alliance campaign tomorrow, chat? I think we start the stream tomorrow with that. Well, I'll probably do a little bit of my YouTube content, but... Uh... Orcix, I think we, I think here's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna do human campaign tomorrow. I think after I beat that, we can go to the Tides of Darkness. That should be much harder, by the way. Dude, I didn't beat I didn't cheat when I beat this as a kid, man. All my friends did. I would yell at them at the lunch table. Bill Roper. Chris Metzen for scenario design. Honestly, the the levels are really good. I do find that like the two or three levels before this were a little bit harder and honestly just like maybe a little bit more interesting. What's up state? How you doing buddy? God, so many of these names are recognized. <clears throat> I got to meet a lot of these people when I started casting StarCraft. International sales. Yeah, it seems like there is kind of a rhythm if you're gonna play the campaign correctly. You just have to basically scope out how many bases you can possibly get and then upgrade up, figure out how quickly you need to get your armada fleet, push out and then get into um, ogre mages and death knights. Do the humans cross spawn nexus first in the expansion campaign? No doubt. No doubt. Did not seem like you use numeric upgrades much? Do you mean um, attack and armor? I did get attack and armor on, I think, every level. It costs a lot of wood, though. I do find the balancing act of having the right number of wood and gold coming in is is pretty challenging because you can mine as much wood as and gold as you want basically so there's a periods where i have like 200 gold and like almost 2000 wood and then or vice versa No, pixel were, no pixels were harmed during the making of this game. Very cute. Should we do, should we start the uh, human campaign? What do you think guys, while we're here? Just jump into it. Okay, I'm gonna pee and stretch my legs. Just don't go anywhere. I'll be right back.
once mighty army of Azeroth lay among the blackened and charred remains of Stormwind Keep. Those that escaped fled across the Great Sea, bringing tales of the suffering they had faced at the hands of the Orcish Hordes. Eager to engage in battle once again, the orcs constructed ships of war to bear them across the Great Sea. The orcish warriors yearned for the sounds of battle to fill the air and looked to the far horizon for new blood to spill. Using the weapons forged by their new allies, the humans made haste to prepare for the onslaught. While dwarven cannon were being loaded, others armed themselves with elven steel and mail. in arms with new allies against a common foe, mankind stands at the shores of destiny and awaits the coming of the Tides of Darkness. Woo! Alright, let's do it. As regional commander of the Southern Defense Forces, Lord Terranus commands that you raise an outpost in the Hillsbrand foothills. It is rumored that orcish marauders have been raiding coastal towns in the area, but whether these attacks are part of a greater horde offensive is as yet unknown. Your outpost is to provide food and information for Alliance troops, and as such, should be a community consisting of at least four farms. You must also construct a barracks in order to safeguard the Hillsbrand operation. Yes, all right. Yes, all right. All right. All right. <coughs> by the way, guys, uh, we're sponsored by Factor. Ready if you order a Factor on. meal, um, I will cast one of your StarCraft replays. So check them out, get healthy food, easy to make at home, lose weight, feel great. It's a two hour game, I might have a limit on that. But check them out. Yeah, we got to go back to Battletoads eventually. Yes, sir. Yes, my lord. Yes, sire. As you wish, yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Once, sire. Whoa. Your command. As you wish, yes, my lord. Under attack. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yes, sire. At once, sire. Yes. For your orders. Yes, yes. yes. Your orders. Yes, yes, yes. 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 At your command. My lord. Yes, yes, yes. sire. At your service. At yes, yes, at at once, once, yes. yes. Yes, my lord. Yes, yes, yes. 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 I already mined out the gold mine? What? What? I'm gonna lose the first yes. fucking mission of the yes. game. Yes. Yes. What? Yes, my lord. Wait. Wait. Wait, how much gold is in here? Oh my god. So much for pro gamer openings. Yes, my lord. Oh my god. Lord, right, right. 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 <laughs> nightmare difficulty. Oh, now we need wood. All right, yes. Okay. Hello, yes, All right. Lord. All right. All right. We barely did this, man. They actually made it so like you can, you can actually lose this.
All right. Yeah, that's the thing. The yeah, levels are actually well designed. Like we almost mined this out, you know. It's like kind of teaching you. It really is teaching you how to play the game. Sorry, I'm back. Nice. The mysterious elves of Silvermoon have sent a contingent of archers south to survey the supposed orcish threat for themselves. Our spies report that shortly after passing through the Alteric grasslands, the elves were ambushed by horde troops. It is believed that these elves are now being held in a small prison camp near the northwest region of Terran Mill. Lord Terranus, fervently hoping to enlist the elves into the Alliance, has asked that you search for the missing warriors and deliver them to safety. The elves have sent a cadre of archers to assist in your quest. You will also be provided with plans to construct an elven lumber mill and Terran the mill. craftsmen to operate it. <coughs> I have no workers. What? Yes, oh, sire, yeah, no, there's yes. one here. Oh, right. Right. Oh. Okay. Yes, sire. Yes, As yes, my lord. Sorry, what is my objective? At once, As you at once, sire. once, sire. We are yes, at once, sire. Your for the alliance. For the alliance. Oh, listen to that elf voice. For the alliance. Your for the alliance. Your for the alliance. Your command. Your command. Move out. Yes. Okay. Where's the gold? Okay. Down here? Okay. 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 Yes, sire. Yo, my lord. Yes, yes. yes. Yo, yo, yo. Yes, sire. At one, one side. side. At one side. Hello, lord. Yes. At yes. one side. Yes, sire. Yes. 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 Peasant's voice. Yes, yes, what, yes. <coughs> Her voice, I guess. Yes, yes, yes. It's pretty funny. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yes, sire. As you wish. Yes, my lord. As you wish. Yes, my lord. Yes, one sire. Yeah, I remember when I was a kid. Yes. I remember this not being clear that you could destroy walls. My sovereign, at your command, by your command. Yes, by your command. Move out. At yes, sir. Your eminence. Nice. Safe return of the elves from the loathsome clutches of the orcs. The count. Oh, why did I skip that? I'm sorry, chat. Oh. <coughs> sorry. What are my objectives? Shit. Sorry, chat. Build a shipyard. Build four. Build four oil, oil, oil platforms. 
Yes, my lord. All right. Your wish by your command. Under your your command. Your enemy by your command. Move out. Your command. Yes. Your command. Yes. 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 My lord. Lord. Yes. My sovereign. Yes. By your command. By your command. Move out. For the alliance. Yes. 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 Oh, hello. For the alliance. Yes. Move out. By your command. One. For the alliance. For the alliance. Exalted one. Underway. Underway. Captain. Underway. 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 Your eminence, Skipper. My eyes, 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 my e
Yes. What is it? Okay. All right. Right Hello. Okay. Okay. Hello. Ready to serve. Hello. Okay. All right. Yes, me lord. All right. Yeah, look at how well made this is. Like, I, I actually can just barely... Hello. Yes, I'll mine this out if I keep making workers. I feel like a lot of other campaigns didn't do this right. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we need to go back and play all the Blizzard campaigns. Yes, me lord. Yes, me lord. All right. Your eminence. Hello. Hello. Yes, me lord. Hello. Yes, me lord. Right. Hello. All right. What is it? Okay. Yes, me lord. Right. All right. Hello. All right. Hello. All right. Hello. All right. All right. Hello. Captain on the bridge. Right. Yes, yes, me lord. lord. Set aye, sail. Aye, sir. Oh, nope. It's only two. Underway. underway. Cap. underway. Skipper? Aye, aye, sir. Underway, underway. Aye, Captain. Aye, aye, sir. Skipper, underway. Captain on the bridge. Aye, Captain. Set sail. Aye, Captain. God, God. Skipper? Aye, Captain. Captain on the Skipper. bridge. Set sail. God, God. Aye, God. Aye, 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 clear this out. Aye, 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 Alright. Hello. Okay. Alright, yes, Captain. Aye, Captain. Skipper. Skipper. Aye, 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 uh -oh. Time for the game of moves. In case you never experienced this kind of micro before. Set sail. Underway. Skipper. I cap set sail. So much money, oh my god. Work complete. Yes, all right, yes, all right, all right, all right. Okay. It's so cool playing this game again. Aye, Captain. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, Captain. Aye, 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 aye Captain. God, God. Set sail. Aye, Captain. Underway, set sail. Aye, Captain. We are under Skipper, aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, 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 Captain. Set sail. Captain set on the sail. bridge. Aye, Captain. Aye, Captain. Set sail. Skipper. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, 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 aye Captain. Sir. What is it? D, D. I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I Nice.
having established some order in the region with a display of naval power, Admiral Proudmoore advises that the time has come to search out the secret lair of the Orcs. Scouts report that this base is located somewhere within the Zuldair region of the Channel Islands, just southeast of Hillsbrad. Lordaeron artificers have completed designs for a foundry. With this new innovation, you will be able to construct transport ships that can ferry your troops across large bodies of water. These vessels should provide great assistance in the completion of your task. Let's go. Oops, music wasn't playing. That was weird. Never pet a burning dog. I forgot about some of these funny tips. One from the top is probably fine. For the alliance, your command. Exalted one by your command. Exalted one by your command. Your command. Your command. For the alliance. Your command. Your command. Your command. My sovereign, set sail. I my sovereign, sir. ready to go. I get away. 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 Exalted one, skipper. I I I My sovereign, I your command. I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I Exalted one. That's so fucking funny. I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I Underway. I, Captain. Your command. I, 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 your orders. Yes, yes, yes. We are under attack, I, Captain. Oh, yes, 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 Lord. Yes, Lord. Sail service. Yes, 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 yes. I, 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 sir. Ready to go. Yes, me, Lord. Yes, me, Lord. Okay. Yes, me, Lord. Okay. Your command. Yes, I, 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 Lord, okay. Okay. Hello. 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 My lord, I captain, I I sir. Your orders. Set sail you at your service. Under I I captain. I I captain. Skipper. I I captain. Skipper. I I I captain. Skipper. 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 I Set sail. I, 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 yes. oh, I got a lot I, of gold I, I, here. Sir. It's kind of crazy. Jobs done. Okay. Okay. Yes, 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 y
Yeah, we're gonna see a big explosion and can come here. What we can spend. Yes, sire. Yes. Yes, I took Your command. Set sail. Aye, aye, sir. Awaiting orders. Ready to sail. Alright, alright. Alright, Yes, my lord. Two points. Yes, sir. Aye, aye, captain. Aye, aye, captain. Lord. Alright, yes, my lord. Alright, yes, my lord. Ready to serve, Lord Kaito. Hello, Kaito. I, Captain, I, Captain, Captain. Awaiting orders. Me Lord Kaito. Okay. Yes, me Lord. Set sail. Underway. Under I, I, Captain. I, 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 Captain. Me Lord Yes, me Lord Kaito. Yes, me Lord. Awaiting orders. I, Captain. Skipper. I, Captain. Skipper. Ready to serve, Lord Yes, me Lord. Yes, me Lord. Hello. All right, okay. yes. Dude, how much more wood do we Lord. need? This is crazy. Okay. Yes, okay. Lord. Okay. Yes, 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 we're like tearing down the entire forest, man. There's not going to be any wildlife on this fucking island. We still don't have enough. Yes, yes sir. Hello. Which one is this foundry? Okay. 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 All right, yes, my lord. All right, All right. Yes, my lord. Skipper. Underway. Service. Captain on the bridge. Captain on the bridge. Skipper. Aye, Captain. Yes, right. Oh, right. Yes, you're right. Guard waiting orders. Yes. All right. Yes, right. Yes. Aye, Captain. Set sail, Skipper. Your orders. Yes. Awaiting orders. Set sail. What is it? God, don't I thought for a second I mined out my gold. I was like, ah. God, don't. All right. God, yes. Don't. Okay. Yes, me lord. Underway, 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 underway. Ready to serve. Okay. We are under attack. Yes, yes, me lord. I, Captain. Skipper. Skipper, skipper. Ready to serve. Yes, me lord. Hello, yes, me lord. Ready to serve. Yes, my yes, lord. Lord. Right. Yes, lord. Yes, my yes, lord. 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 I am the way, I am the way, Captain. What Work is yes, right. lord. Captain on the bridge. Skipper, I am the way. Hello. Okay. okay. Ready to serve. Hello. Yes. Right. Okay. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. yes, my lord. Yes, I am the way, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yes. Yes. My lord. Captain on the bridge. Skipper, I captain. Yes, I captain. I captain. Yes. Oh my God, the pathing's so bad. Come on, let's go. Yes. Captain. Skipper, I, 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 I
Yes. Your service. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. Your command. You guys go down there. Yes. 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 Please. Thank you. Your As command. You what yes. 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 Your command. Let's turn the speed up here. Where where we need to be. Awaiting orders. Yes, sire. At once, sire. Aye, aye, sir. Go, go, go. Awaiting orders. Awaiting orders. Yes, sire. Yes, my captain. Set sail. Your orders. My lord. Yes, I captain. Yes, sire. Awaiting orders. Yes. Set sail. Lord, yes, me lord. Hello, yes, me lord. Awaiting orders. orders. Yes. What yes. 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 yes, yes, my lord. Hello, Hello. Right. I, yes, come, I come to serve. Your I order. come to serve, Chad. I am captain. For the alliance? Lines. Yes. I captain. God, God. Yes, yes, me lord. We are under attack. Uh oh, yes, me, yes, me lord. All right, well. Game's harder than I remember. Let's go end it. This is actually a much harder level than I remembered. Like, I mean, I think we're gonna be fine, but it's like, damn. Set sail underway. Yes. I had no clue it was like this. Yes. Tough. I've kind of been slacking here, and now here I am. My lord. As you yes. 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 Captain on the bridge. Set sail. I captain underway. Who is this? All right. Let's make some more. Yes, 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 Set up the orders. Service. At your my service. My lord, your service. Your service. At your, your service. orders. At your service. I come to I come serve. to serve. Some more of these things here. Captain on the bridge. Captain, Captain on the bridge. Bridge. This is by far my sloppiest campaign level of the playthrough. I think I'm so confident after beating the whole story mode and work that I'm like slacking here. All right, we got this. As you want, sire. I, Captain. Set sail. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Hello. Right. Right. Hello. All right. Aye, aye, Lord. Sir. All right. Yes, me, yes, me, Lord. Skipper, I, Captain. Okay. I, Captain. Underway. I, Captain. Underway. Aye, aye, sir. Yes, sire. Yes, my Lord. Lord. I, 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 Captain. Yes, sire. Yes, sire. Yes, sire. All right, Chad. I think we did it again. Aye, aye, sir. Skipper, I, Captain. Your command. Definitely made that a little bit harder than it needed to be. But in the end, it worked out. Oh, you know what? Set sail. 
Yes, I, I forgot there's inhabitants on that one island. At your service. Yes, my lord. I come, I come. My eyes, sir. My eyes, sir. I, Captain. Set sail. My yes. sovereign, exalted one, will I will command. Oh, yes. Sir. Skip I, 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 Captain. Set sail. I, 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 I,
Yes. Right. All right. Now. Skipper, set sail away. 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 Gold. I think on the early maps they don't inhabit as Hello. many islands. Hello. Shit, that didn't make it. Yes, me lord. Hello. Okay. Right. All right. Yes, me lord. I, Captain. Ready. Hello. Okay. Hello. All right. Hello. I, Captain. Set sail. I, Captain. Hello. We are Hello. under attack. Set sail. Cause Skipper. Cause. Oh. Yes, my lord. Hey. I am underway. Okay, we're almost ready to get some oil going here. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. All right. 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 Ready to serve. All right. Okay. All right. Me lord. Yes, me lord. Yes. All right. No. All right. I just can't get him over there. All right. Yes, me lord. All right. Right. More fifty. All right. So we're about to get that. What is it? S. Okay. Okay. Oh, still get through shit. Yes, All right. Hello, yes, me lord. Skipper. We are under attack. Set sail. I, 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 underway. Set sail. Ready to serve. Okay. We are under attack. What's their man? Okay. All right. Hello. Yes, yes lord. lord. Ready to serve. Yes. Right. All done. Yeah, he's only got one island. Ready oh, they give serve. me lots of bases like that. Work complete. All done. Hello. Me lord. All right. Okay. Okay. Yes, me lord. Ready to serve. Yes, me lord. Captain on the bridge. Oh, God. I, 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 not actually a lot of wood, to be honest. Yes, my lord. Dog's done. What is it? All right. Skipper. Oh, nice. Sick. Captain on the bridge. Work complete, my lord. Yes, my lord. Supposed to be mining. Oh, wait, 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 Captain. Lord, okay, Lord, all right. Yes, okay. my Lord. God, don't. Yes, all right. Captain on the captain on the bridge. God, don't. How much is this? Two hundred. Yeah, we got this. God, don't. Awaiting orders. Awaiting orders. Aye, aye, captain. Underway. Aye, aye, aye sir. captain. Yes, Captain on the bridge. Aye, 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 sir. Aye, aye, Captain. sail. Aye, Captain. Underway. Aye, Captain. Skipper. Aye, Captain. Hello, right, right, yes, Lord. Oh, we almost don't have enough fucking trees. Holy shit. 
cancel this. Hello. Light. It's almost too close. It's kind of scary. Okay. Yes, my lord. 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 Yes, my lord. Hello. Yes, 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 as you wish. Set sail. I, 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 Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> We're like gonna barely win this because I have mined up too much wood. Yes, oh, yes uh, my lord. About to end the game now. My lord. Way too much money coming in here. It's kind of crazy. Alright, about to end this. What up, Roddy? How you doing, man? Captain on the bridge. God, don't. At your yes, one for the alliance. Yes, my son. Okay. All right. Yes, yes, my son. Captain. Captain on the bridge. I come to you. Aye, 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 sir. Set sail. I am captain. As you my lord. What I sail. Your wish, your image. Oh, yes. Lord. Lord. Uh, okay. I captain. I Underway. captain. I captain. Set aye, sail, aye, sir. Set sail. I come to my way. Okay. Lord. Okay. Lord. Okay. Lord. Okay. Lord. Okay. Yes, my lord. Skipper. I I I captain. I captain. Skipper. I captain. Underway. <laughs> Set sail. I I captain. Your captain. orders. Yes, my lord. Exalted yes. Yes. Under Lord. Attack. Set sail. Your command, as you wish. Exalted for the Alliance. I captain. At once, sire. At once, sire. Yes, my lord. Yes, yes my lord. As you wish. At once, sire. Oh! Your heaven. Move out, Salt. 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 Move This is not easy to get into. I guess we gotta use a ballista. Or, yeah, ballista. That was insane. What the fuck? All right, hold on. We're okay. I gotta have way more than this, and I gotta keep it together. Awaiting, awaiting at your as you wish. Set sail. Set sail. Aye, 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 captain on the bridge. Captain on the bridge. Your wish. Captain. Your wish. Set sail. Your command. Yes, I, captain. 
Oh, we can probably get bored. Not even upgrading shit, I'm so bad. I'm such a scrub. Gotta actually bring some peasants here with us. Yes, I am. Yes, 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 I come to serve. Yes. Work complete. Work completed. Your wish for the Alliance. For the alliance. Skipper, Skipper, your wish. wish. Skipper, I yes. come to serve. Yes. Come to serve. <laughs> Exalted one for the yes. Alliance. Captain on the bridge. Captain on the bridge. Set sail underway. I keep seeing red in my base and thinking I'm under attack. <laughs> it's just this red stuff I rescued earlier. My sovereign, your command. Set sail. My lord, awaiting orders. Yes, sire. At once, sire. I come to serve. My sovereign, your command. Set sail. Awaiting orders. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. right -o. O. Uh. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. 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 Right. -o. Hello. Okay. All right. Is it? Yes. 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 As you are awaiting captain. orders. Set sail. Work Set complete. Sail. Your, your command. Awaiting orders. Set sail. Charge done. Underway. Aye, 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 sir. Aye, underway. Me lord. Right, yes, sir. me lord. Me lord. Yes, me yes, lord. me lord. Aye, 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 Underway. Your wish. Move out. By your command. I saw him. Your command. Command. I saw him. Move out. Skip out. I can't wait. Your orders as you wish. Your wish. Yes. By your command. Your yes. wish. Move out. Lord. All right. All right. Your order. Move out. Yes. Yes. As you wish. At your service. Oh, Exalted one. Move out. Your command. Yes. There's something so satisfying about gobbling up the map. Lord. Set sail. 
Can we do it? Hey, boy, boy. That's so funny. I took everything off of this island. <laughs> Even though I have a gold here, that's so stupid. Get back over there. Mind the Job's done. Is there anything else around here? This was one design flaw with this game. Is that they kind of make you do all the work to find anything else in the map. Oh, it's over here. Your eminence yes. for the alliance. Yes. By your command. Your eminence. Yes. Move out. Move out. Yes. Anything up here? For the alliance. Move Didn't think alliance. so. Skipper. I captain. Set sail. I, 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 I captain. Underway. Is that it? I, I, I captain. Set sail. I, 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 I captain. My sovereign. By your command. Yes. Yes. I captain. I captain. There's an oral oil thing here? Where? Problem is my opponent's color is black, I can't see. An oral derelict? I don't think there is, man. Am I crazy? Where's his stuff? What? Set sail underway. They can't have sail submarines. Underway. Yes. Right. All right. Where Set could it be? I underway. Captain, captain on the bridge. I captain. I I captain. Set sail. I don't know where it is. Underway. Set sail. I I captain. I captain. I captain. I captain. Skipper, captain on the captain bridge. on the bridge. Set sail underway, aye, aye, sir. Underway, I captain. Underway, aye, captain. I captain. Underway, aye, 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 sir. Three o'clock. I captain. Underway, captain. Underway, aye, 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 underway. I captain. I I sir. I guess I could make a flying zeppelin. I I sir. We are under attack. Wait, who's under attack? Oh. Oh, it's so hard to see because it's. Oh, okay. We got it. <clears throat> Guys, I'm going to end this stream, assuming this is the last building. I need to get some food. We're going to be recording ASL Group C tonight. And I'll be recording Group D tomorrow. Is that it? There we go. I didn't save yet, so let me just save. Up here. Following their defeat at Dune Modra, the orcs were forced to retreat south across the Fandol Valley to a secondary outpost at Dune Algars. Lord Lothar, hoping to push the orcs even further back into Cosmodan, has ordered that you destroy this newly discovered encampment. To aid you in your mission, you will be able to employ knights who are eager to <coughs> engage the horde in glory. Thanks for the bit, battle. shield battery. All right, let's save here. Can I save it? All right, guys. Um, <clears throat> if you have a spare Twitch Prime, don't let it go to waste. We're going to find somebody to raid here. Um... I think we're going to continue on with the work campaign here for the next couple of streams. Be sure to join me tomorrow. I'm going to be on at 1.30 p.m. KST. GSL is on this Thursday at the normal time. Um, second. Oops. Who's on? Who's someone on, on that I can raid? Um, yeah, this has been fun. I think we're going to bang out this human campaign and then it's going to be really cool to go into the uh, dark beyond the dark portal levels. Oh man. 
Fuck you, guy in the chat. You're out of here. Thank you, Chicken Man. What's up, buddy? Chicken Mansk just subscribed. Can't let it go to waste. Chicken Mansk. Uh, who's on? Is anybody streaming Warcraft 2? Am I the only one? No, no one else is. Yeah, I don't want to raid in another language. That's always awkward. Um, we're going to raid Berry Crunch. Okay, guys, we're raiding Berry Crunch. I love you. We'll see you tomorrow. Um, as a reminder, if you get a uh, order on Factor, <coughs> I will cast. <coughs> God damn it! I will cast one of your replays. Consider getting them. They're a great sponsor. Use the command Factor in the chat. To check them out. Um, they've got a really good deal going on. You'd be crazy not to get this. You save a bunch of money, eat healthy, lose weight, feel great. Um, yeah, and they're supporting the stream. Have a good one, guys. Say hi to Barry for me. I love you. Tasteless out. Here we go. Come on, Buckstar Shot. Give it to me, dude. Give it to me raw, bro. Give it to me right in my fucking face. Holy Tasteless with the raid. What's up? Hope everybody's doing well tonight. Welcome, welcome, everybody. How's it going, boys and girls? Let's get a shout out. Shout out. What's up, Program Max? Good time for a raid? Yeah, definitely. I'm getting mega hard baited. Give it to me. My face is the first thing. <laughs> Bugstar Shot says he's reached the highest level of his, of his incompetency. Without a challenge, he is stagnated. Well, that's what I said. That, that's what I said. I said he doesn't like Maru doesn't have a practice partner that's as good as that can really give him a run for his money the way that Cyril can beat him right like he he lacks like a there's no zerg in korea that's Cyril level so maru doesn't have the practice but like if you compare clem to maru like clem can do just about anything maru